Hey guys, Anthony here. Saturday, July 16th, 2016. Uh, got here last night, or actually about 5.30 yesterday. And uh, we're at Markham Park in Sunrise, Florida. Uh, we got our usual spot, which is um, J3. And uh, set up the R-Pod uh, last night. And just give you a glimpse of our setup. As of right now, Saturday morning, we had to run a few errands. It's about 10 o'clock Saturday morning. Uh, my wife's inside at the R-Pod uh, cooking on our new electric skillet. So I wanted to show you guys uh, that's, that uh, skillet. She's making some eggs for us. But just give you a quick glimpse of the campground. There's only one other uh, camper in our circle. All the other circles here are empty, as you see. And then there's a guy there in the um, corner. Uh, there's a stealth van. I'm actually going to try to wash that today while I have water hook up here. And um, set the R pod up quick and easy last night. No problems. This is our spot. We're right on the uh, canal here. Uh, you'll hear boats going by, and you'll see on the berm there. People riding their mountain bikes along the uh, trails that are atop of that berm. And so this is our setup. We got our electric, our water. We like this spot here, J3, uh, because it's a really big pavement pad. We'll back up here so you can see how big it is. It's a really big pavement pad that goes back uh, all the way back here. So if you have, um, you know, people over and stuff, it's a hard surface there. You're not walking in the in the in the grass or the mud in case it's raining. You know, we like it a lot. So I didn't put the R dome up, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it since we're just leaving uh, tomorrow morning. I may put it up uh, later on. If I do, I'll give a video of it. But uh, let's get inside and uh, take a look at uh, what's cooking. B, coming in. Hi. Who's at the door? There's Charlotte and there's Teddy. My little guard dogs. Okay, Daddy's coming in. Okay, let's check out the new skillet. Okay, so tell us what you're doing here, babe. Where, first of all, where's the skillet from? QVC. And how much was it? Cook's Essentials is the brand. Okay, this is our maiden voyage using the skillet. We got the cover there, that teak wood serving tray that covers the stove. And we got the skillet right on top of that. So she's making, um, preheating some um, non bread. Okay, cool. So she's preheating that or toasting it up on toasting the, it. On the uh, skillet. And then what you got over here, some scrambled eggs. Okay. Scrambled eggs in her nice little kitchen here. And she's got a view here of the canal. <laughs> What's so funny? It's beautiful. This is some single malt scotch that I was, uh, my brother-in-law bought me. Actually him and I bought it last week. Oh, what's that? That's your wine. Guys, if you want really good wine, the Federalist, uh, both the uh, Chardonnay and the Cabernet, Cabernet are absolutely outstanding. That's okay. That's Let's give them a quick view of the uh, dinette here. We had a great night last night. Um, Great morning this morning. But anyway, this is um, Ainsley Bray. It's a single malt uh, from Oak Casks. It actually was um, was pretty reasonably priced. I think it was $27 for the bottle. And I tell you what, guys, this uh, single malt here is outstanding. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Eight, 
Yeah, Ainsley, Ainsley Gray. Fantastic single malt. Gonna have some again later, not with breakfast, but uh, later on. To show you some of our overhead storage, I got my clothes and the cubes there that we put, that we pack. My wife's got her cubes, and she's got a really cool, uh, where is it? Really cool cube right here. We'll do a video on later, but it's a cube with all kind of see-through mini cubes, and she keeps it packed with like makeup and toiletries and you know things for herself. And you know I could use some stuff in there too. And uh, it's just an amazing little organizer. Uh, we'll give you some information on that. But it fits right in the drawer here, and it's got a lot of essentials. There's uh, under the bed. It's got some under bed storage there. I got a toter there. Let me show you guys. I know I gave you guys a tour of this earlier in some other videos, but uh, got the TV going. And now we got the radio on. I want to give um, a lot of guys that. Um, buy these R pods with the with the smaller bathroom in it just give you some feedback on having you know the bathroom and the shower in one it's been working out great for us great showers it's been working out great for us my wife's uh, what do you think of it i love it no problem showering no not at all but then again i'm only like maybe 52 Right. Five two eyes of blue. <laughs> anyway, I have no problem in there, and I'm five ten. Uh, but uh, again, in a RV, you're not taking a shower like you, you know you do at home with the water continually running. What I usually do is I fill the sink up with some warm water, hot water, wet myself down, soap up, and then I just take this uh, Oxygenix uh, shower head. I turn on turn this on so I get access to the shower and then with this button you just hit the button and you'll get running water uh, to rinse off uh, maybe later I'll actually show you we'll demonstrate the oxygenic shower head and show you how it works and uh, on the toilet here no problem so it's no problem with the smaller bathroom in this R pod uh, 179 and it gives us what we wanted originally was more room in the in the kitchen area and as you can see here you know you could get a lot of cooking done here in the kitchen mm -hmm. got a larger counter surface and work surface areas and uh, more cabinets for storage take a look inside the fridge again we were only we're only out for the weekend so we don't bring a heck of a lot of stuff last night we went out I brought some pizza um, we left late Friday, so uh, next uh, August 5th we'll be at the Red Coconut to see uh, Barbie's brothers. Uh, we'll be out there, and uh, that's on the beach. So a little bit different atmosphere than here. This is more of a, you know Everglades type wooded area, where the next campsite is going to be the um, the beach again. Our cabinets. Your animal crackers, Aunt. There's my animal crackers that I'm going to have today. Right there. I haven't had those in a while. Again, guys, there's lots of room in this uh, R-Pod 179. More than enough room. There you go. Teddy's under the bed here. And Charlotte's on top of the bed. You guys can take a little nap, okay? Where'd you get that apron? Fair Bradley. Where'd you get the shoes? And Nordstrom. Nordstrom's? What are they? <laughs> Birkenstock. Birkenstock. They good for the R pod? For getting meals ready? Let's check on those eggs, it's baby. Done. What do you think of the Cook's Essentials Love electric it. skillet? Love it. It's gonna be great for meatballs, chili, 
vegetarian chili. You got just another altar, and, and this can be used outside as well as we have an electric hookup outside. Um, oh, here's a knife I'm going to be doing a review on. This is the Moore knife, one of the Moore knives. Oh, there's my serving. Yep. This hummus board, too. You want some, Charlotte? You want some eggs, little girl? Huh? This is the Moore knife here. Highly recommend these knives. I gave a bunch of gifts um, last week at a birthday party, and the guys that received them were just uh, absolutely in awe of these knives. They had never had a more knife before, nor heard of one. Uh, and for, you know, not a lot of money, Daddy, you can have a really good all around knife, bushcrafting knife. Anyway, guys, we're going to have some breakfast. Uh, we'll get back to you afterwards. And uh, from the R Pod 179, Forest River, breakfast is served. Yep. Got some hummus instead of butter. Eating healthy, guys. You want some, in? Yeah, I'll have some. <laughs> I should have a butter knife, obviously, but. Well. It's in the drawer. It's okay. Okay. All right, guys. One more shot of the kitchen area. You ready to eat, Sean? Had some nice French press coffee this morning. The clock's a little slow. Is it up? Yeah, we'll. Good.